Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing three topics in module 1 of non-traditional machining process. What are they? General classification of non-traditional machining process and non-traditional machining processes different category and a classification based on uh, nature energy in non-traditional machining process. So already in video 1, we had uh, the basic uh, comparison between the uh, traditional machining process and non-traditional machining process and even the different uh, uh, characteristics of uh, traditional and non-traditional machining process we have discussed. So everyone is uh, informed to go through the video 1 and uh, after watching that you can watch this uh, video. So first one, the general classification of non-traditional machining. So how can we classify non-traditional machining? So based on the sources or energy of the metal removal, we can classify the non-traditional machining process. First of all, one by one we will discuss and of course here the major energies are there. Out of that I have chosen very few or uh, we can call it as here the basic uh, energies. Uh, uh, obviously the first one is the thing but the mechanical energy where the erosion of the work material by a high velocity stream of abrasives or fluid sometimes both. Abrasives means here based on what type of work piece we are using we will be going with the different abrasives and even the fluid sometimes can be a normal water or sometimes it can be a you know like a highly concentrated acid depends on the work piece and the types of process we are using and it is a typical form of the mechanical action. Then what is the electrical energy where we will be using electrical energy and sometimes electrochemical energy that is comb in combination of electrical and chemical energy to remove the excess material or else you can call it as electrical process otherwise uh, in the name of reverse of electroplating. And next one is the third basic uh, energy that is the thermal where the thermal energy usually applied to a small portions of the workpiece. Here point to be noted we are not using the thermal energy for making the final product only for the small portions of the work surface it can be used. So usually thermal energy may be the part of the working process and usually this thermal energy it, it may uh, cause the portion to be removed by either by fusion or the vaporization process. And the last one is nothing but the chemical almost the recent uh, processes uh, everything we will be doing uh, based on this chemical energy where we will be using some kind of chemical etchants uh, selectively uh, removing the uh, excess material from the portions of the work part where we are uh, uh, you know like uh, uh, wishing to remove while the other portions are protected by a mask sources of the energy of the metal removal. So these are the major uh, sources or the energies of the metal removal process and here we can able to see uh, the big flow chart you can able to see like uh, the non-conventional machining manufacturing processes uh, I think hope everyone could able to see this. So first one is just now we discussed that is based on the energy type where we can uh, broadly classify it into mechanical, electrochemical, chemical and thermoelectrical. So again under this uh, we have a few more types we will see one by one. So if, we, if you see the basic mechanism under mechanical we have shear or erosion or in case of the electrochemical we have ion displacement and in case of the chemical we have ablative action and in case of the thermoelectrical we have vaporization and fusion. Again under shear uh, based on the source of the immediate energy we can call it as a cutting tool or like in case of the erosion the pneumatic or the hydraulic pressure. But under electrochemical ion displacement, high current usually we will be providing. And in case of a chemical, as we discussed, chemically reactive agents or the agents will be using. And in case of the thermal uh, electric, I mean thermoelectrical, under vaporization, we have high voltage and amplified light. And in case of the fusion, we have the ionizing material. Further, the transfer of the energy medium. In case of the cutting tool, it is the physical contact. In case of the pneumatic or hydraulic, usually uh, high velocity particles are the high velocity liquid. Anything. And in case of the high current, usually electrolyte is preferred. And for the chemically reactive agent, environment, it is very, very important. Based on the atmospheric condition or maybe laboratory condition, we can be preferred. And moving to the high voltage and the amplified light, where electron and the radiations are used respectively. And in case of the ionizing material, usually only hot cases are preferred. And moving to the processes where under physical contact, mechanical contour grinding is only preferred one. And uh, moving to the uh, high velocity particles where ultrasonic machining process, abrasive jet machining process. These two processes we will be discussing in module 2. And moving to the high velocity liquid where whirling uh, jet uh, machining process which is uh, not a part of our syllabus but it is also a very popular uh, machining process. And moving to the electrochemical uh, electrolyte uh, transfer energy medium where we will be uh, uh, discussing two processes that is electrochemical grinding and electrochemical machining. 
again these two will be the part of our syllabus and we will be discussing in module 3 and module 4 and moving to the chemical we have uh, three major categories the chemical etching chemical machining and a hot uh, chlorine machining unfortunately we are not discussing uh, uh, you know like uh, all the three things so only one thing will be discussing that is thing, but chemical machining will be discussing and moving to the thermoelectrical we have two major categories that is the electrical discharge machining and electron beam machining both the things will be discussing and moving to the radiation where laser beam machining very interesting topic we will be discussing in our syllabus and uh, hot gases we have two that is ion beam machining and plasma arc machining so we will be discussing plasma arc machining so in this slide that is we can call it as a big flow chart we got to know what are all the major uh, you know like uh, the type of energy under that the combination or like uh, uh, like maybe a individual energy like a different types of uh, uh, non-traditional machining process we have discussed now here we will just uh, quickly we will uh, see here that is non-traditional machining process where uh, mainly mechanical, thermal or chemical, electrochemical we can able to see under mechanical, ultrasonic machining, water jet machining, abrasive water jet machining and uh, I know, uh, like ionic uh, jet machining and in case of thermal we have electrical discharge machining, electrical beam machining, laser beam machining, uh, ion beam machining and plasma beam machining and in case of the chemical and electrochemical we have chemical uh, machining, uh, plasma machining and electrical electrochemical uh, machining so all these things and the mechanical machining process you can able to see all these things whatever like electrical jet machining electric beam machining electric chemical machining and photochemical machining whatever i explained here in this slide the same thing only in the uh, what is that expansion uh, we could be able to see here and moving to the mechanical non-traditional machining process mainly two types that is uh, ultrasonic machining and water jet machining so ultrasonic machining means where abrasion and uh, where abrasives will be using slurry in the workpiece this is just if you remember this major things it is sufficient to discuss the topic and similarly in case of the water jet machining we have your cutting thing where we will be using uh, the source as a jet of water usually the fluid and the workpiece will be uh, you know like with the help of your fluid the workpiece uh, um, you know like the excess material will be removed and moving to the uh, thermal uh, non-traditional machining process where electrical discharge machining, electrical beam machining, laser beam machining, ion beam machining and plasma beam machining. You can able to see in electrical discharge machining uh, where the plasma uh, dielectric will be using and in case electric beam machining where electrons in, in, in terms of the vacuum workpiece uh, uh, excess material will be removing and in case of laser beam machining we will be using laser beam with the help of your photons and air medium where the workpiece excess material will be removed. In case of plasma beam machining, where plasma will be the source and that is in the form of the gas medium, excess material is removed from the workpiece. In case of the ion beam machining, where ions are the source and uh, through vacuum, we will be removing the excess material from the workpiece. And moving to the chemical and the electrochemical process, where electrochemical machining process and the chemical machining process and the a plasma chemical machining process where ions will be the source and in case of electrochemical electrolyte is through the it will be the medium and in case of the ion etchant will be the medium where excess material will be removing from the workpiece and moving to the non traditional machining process uh, and we can uh, say that the classification of the non traditional process uh, based on the nature of energy use is very uh, like uh, 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 what is that in detail we have discussed just, uh, just now so once again very quickly i'll just uh, uh, tell it off here that is the me under mechanical process we have abrasive jet machining ultrasonic machining water jet machining and abrasive water jet machining under electrochemical process we have electrochemical machining electrochemical grinding and electro jet drilling and moving to the third type electro thermal process where we have electro discharge machining laser jet machining and electron beam machining and last under chemical process where we have chemical milling and uh, photochemical milling so with this uh, we will be winding up this video and uh, the remaining things will continue in the next video. Thank you.